Breaking story overnight, Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer convicted of murdering George Floyd, attacked in a federal prison, and he was seriously injured. ABC's Jacqueline Lee has more on this story. Good morning, Jacqueline. Hey, Gio, good morning. George, George Floyd's death obviously rocked the country in 2020, sparking nationwide protests about police brutality and race relations. And now sources say the man at the center of it all found guilty of murdering Floyd is in the hospital. This morning, sources tell ABC News Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer convicted of murdering George Floyd by kneeling on his neck, sparking massive civil rights protests, is now in the hospital with serious injuries after getting stabbed by another inmate. The court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. 47-year-old Chauvin is serving out his 21-year federal sentence for violating Floyd civil rights and a 22 and a half year state sentence for second degree murder at this medium security federal correctional facility in Tucson, Arizona. Back in August, officials moved him there from this maximum security Minnesota state prison where he was mainly kept in solitary confinement largely for his own protection. The Bureau of Prisons only revealing an incarcerated individual was assaulted at the Federal Correctional Institution Tucson yesterday. In a recent documentary called The Fall of Minneapolis, Chauvin spoke to the media for the first time, calling the trial and sentencing a sham, claiming his use of his knee on Floyd's neck was part of his police training manual. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. 5-316, axial restraint technique, right in their written policy manual. And sources say Chauvin is as of now in stable condition and is expected to survive, but we have not heard back from his attorney or the prison. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.